Requested by Lemon the OHFA Saluter 2014. Before we begin with the WTPH logo, we have some newcomers. What are your names? I'm Judy C.H. Hodges. I'm Harry Donaldson. I'm Microsoft Mark. I'm Microsoft Eva. I'm Miss Madsen. I'm Jenny Madsen. I'm Joey Madsen. I'm Jerry Falcon. I'm Clarence Crow. And I'm O now. Thank you all for your great welcomes. Now, we are going through the logos WNET used from 1953 to today. So, Scotty, don't expect me to yell at you. Okay, Sam. I will not. Good. Now let's begin. Roll camera. Cue the WTPH logo. <laughs> It's the only logo WBUF used at the time, Mark. Oh. This came in 1953. Oh my gosh. The very first logo of WNED TV. I know right. QDCH Hodges. 1966. WNED. The outline WNED logo. In living color. From 1975 to 1983. This is Channel 17, WNED-TV, Buffalo. Wow. Look at that 17 in color. From 1977 to 1983. Nineteen eighty three, with the same WNED Buffalo design as nineteen seventy five, but the word presence under that outline. And just look at that beautiful view of the city of Buffalo, as if we were in a helicopter capturing it on camera. Has a short version of this with no music added to it. Coming up next here on Channel Seventeen, the movie palaces, TV worth watching. Well, according to Closing Logo Groupon Fandom, the logo information says, on a black background, we see a blue version of the logo from the first logo with WNED in the top of the 7 and Buffalo below it. And the music slash sounds? Well, usually it's the announcer saying what's coming up next. Before or after that, one of the following tunes plays. 1. A jazzy 60s-like clad in a tune, and 2. An instrumental version of the PBS TV Worth Watching jingle, played on a synclavier, violins, drums, and a saxophone. Didn't know that there's a GTM logo included. Me too. Me free. As seen on some old reading rainbow tapes, including PPS home video releases. Oh look, here comes the host of the show with a black beard. Hi, I'm Lamar Burton. As you can see, I became cartoonized to blend in better. Coolio. Oh yeah, another thing. 
Would you like to direct the WGPH logo? I'll be happy to oblige, Sam. Okay, I like the sound of that. I can man the WGPH logo for you, Mr. V. As long as you feel comfortable doing so, then sure. Anyway, roll camera. Continue the WMED slideshow, as well as the WGPH logo. Hallelujah! Another beautiful skyline of Buffalo! As you can see, there's water below the skyline. And also below, you'll see the text from WMED Buffalo. This is from 1991. Holy mother of BPS. The WNED lettering against a sky of many shades of blue, maroon and pink. A custom variant of this exists on the Reading Rainbow episode from 2000, again with a GPN logo. Time goes by, time brings changes, and you change too. James Taylor, 2006. 1999 they featured this logo. Look, Miss Madsen. It's the flags of the U.S. and Canada. I love how they feature the Canadian flag in their logo. By the way, when are we going to Canada? The borders are already open again, like they have been in the year 2006. Amazing! Continuing WMED slideshow. Again, nice flag background. And they proudly show their domain name on the bottom of the screen. From 2006 to 2008. The flags have really got a good mind to keep it going, eh? They sure do, Scotty. This one is from 2008. Against all odds, the two flags really are good at showing that WMED can be watched in Toronto and is based in Buffalo. And just above the WMED TV, lettering is an original production of 2016. Programming on WNED is made possible through member support and by Just What We Need. A logo created when the U.S. slash Canada borders were being closed due to the pandemic. Okay, let's just get the 1978 WGPH logo right before we go. Got the logo right. Ooh, uh, got the logo right. Ooh, uh. Got the logo right. One more time.